is JSA TV and JSA Podcast, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Dean Perrine, Executive Vice President at JSA, and joining me today is Mr. Mark Bunnell. Mark is the COO of New Wave Communications. Mark, welcome to JSA TV. Yeah, thanks for having me. You got it. So, Mark, uh, it's a pretty exciting month right now. We're kind of winding up summer a little bit. Uh, we've got ITW at the end of the month, um, and you guys have got some big news coming out as well. So um, uh, let's go ahead and get started here. But um, as a starting point, why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about New Wave and your work as it relates to the latest Microsoft release around Operator Connect? Yeah, sure. Thanks for that. So. Uh, yeah, I'm Mark Bunnell, Chief Operating Officer here at New Wave, and we've been around since 1998. Uh, we're a, a voice-focused company, and that's basically how we got our start, was just really good quality voice. Uh, you know, the TV commercials used to be, you could hear a pin drop, and now they're, can you hear me now? So we really set out to make sure that that voice quality is, is back to the standards of the TDM times in the 70s and 80s. And so through that, uh, we uh, and, and that having that quality and being carrier grade, you know, we haven't had any kind of customer facing service interruptions in over a decade now. So 100 percent uptime. And because of that quality, Microsoft called us up and said, hey, we'd like you to come, you know, be a part of this new thing called Teams. We have it's this uh, uh, new product that's going to replace Skype for business and we want to make it more adoptable by the masses. And so we helped them work on the uh, carrier hosted model to deploy you know, Teams direct routing and really have mastered what no one else has been able to do there. And so then we were also invited to be a first wave carrier into Operator Connect, where, I, our, where our iPilot platform uh, helps to automate the entire process for both services. Outstanding. And I'm glad that you mentioned iPilot because that's my very next question revolves around uh, that, that bit of news. So you recently published some news around iPilot. Why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about that news and uh, ultimately why it's significant? Yeah, so we, uh, iPilot was born out of necessity of our own use. Um, and so basically we wanted to eliminate the swivel chair. We wanted to uh, have telecommunication services beyond demand um, where you could do everything from A to Z from service procurement uh, all the way through configuration and management of your voice services specifically for teams. Um, and so uh, we didn't really understand how complex and things that that was going to be moving forward. We just decided that, you know, we needed a product that was going to service and make it really easy to use teams and manage that system. And then so I pilot was born from that. Um, and then as we started using it in the marketplace to turn up our customers, we really found that there was a gap in the market. And so now uh, other carriers, operators, um, companies are, are coming to us to get that same level of access. And so that's why we decided to, you know, make it available as a product, you know, globally for all these service providers, SIs, um, you know, distributors, everyone who really wanted to have a team's practice and make it super easy because it, it can tend to be a little bit difficult to manage. Yeah, I get that. Uh, as far as as far as like getting it out to the masses, this does sound a bit like a channel play to me. Um, is is that is that kind of the direction you folks are headed? And um, you know, you know, how how does that how does that ultimately shape your your current and future ecosystem of partners? Yeah, so it's kind of all the above. I mean, first and foremost, we were a service provider, and I used to say that you know we're a telecommunications provider that happened to do some software and now we've rapidly evolved into a software company that happens to do some telecommunications and so uh, true to our roots we still you know turn up on direct customers um you know to provide their same level of quality and service that we have however we we have shifted more to the channel and that channel is not just traditional channels of master agents and things like that but as a channel of anyone who can um, look to adopt a practice to service all of their customers. So that includes, you know, master agents, it includes SIs, MSPs, other carrier operators, you know, anyone who really just wants to have the ease and, and, and ability to turn up customers at scale. Got it. So let's talk a little bit about um, those 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 customers. Actually, you know, how do you see iPilot shaping the future of the enterprise, or even the future of uh, you know the IT landscape? Well, I mean, as as the work at home and distributed workforce, you know, kind of um, has has really come center stage here, and you have a lot of different use cases, a lot of different uh, you know services that have really exploded here in the last year and a half or so. Um, finding the quality people and employees to really help those enterprises, you know, have a team's practice are really hard to come by. 
not only are they hard to come by, but now the salaries and things that go along with those folks are like double and triple what they normally are. And, and so there's a, just a real lack of, of quality people that can do this job. And so, you know, case in point, we turned up a big medical facility. Um, they had 17 people in their IT staff and only two of those people knew PowerShell to be able to support something like Teams. Mm -hmm. And so when we bring in iPilot and we solve all those use cases, no PowerShell required, it's all point and click. Um, now all 17 members of their staff can now provision and manage their team's environment um, versus just two. So now we've really taken the need away from having to find those people and have those you know, expert resources on staff because iPilot makes it so easy to administer and, and control with just a couple of clicks of the mouse. Very cool. So uh, I, I feel like we could probably talk about iPilot um, for the next hour, um, but we need to move on. So why don't you tell our, our viewers a little bit about what else is new with, uh, with New Wave? or maybe even what they can expect to see from New Wave over the next like six or eight or 10 or 12 months? Well, I can, I really think that you're gonna see just a, gl a global expansion capability. You know, we're, we're moving into new, you know, continents, new countries all the time. Um, really the flexibility to provision, you know, multiple services, multiple cloud, you know, environments, you know, over time we currently provision, you know, Cisco Broadworks, you know, Candy, others that are coming that are relevant. And so, you know, you don't, you will, you'll be able to do a one-stop shop with, with uh, all these different cloud providers. And I think that some of the next really interesting pieces is you can just plug into our software and you can choose the areas of the world that you want to sell in. You can choose the different products that you want to sell. You can even choose the underlying SPCs that you may, you know, have in your network. So you can control, say, ribbon and audio codes, uh, you know, MetaSwitch, any of these other underlying SPC providers. So it really becomes a mix and match menu of what you have in your network to be able to control the different levels of service without having to swivel chair. Yeah, very cool. Very cool. So for our viewers that want to know a little bit more about New Wave, where can they go? Uh, you can go to our website at uh, newwave.com or ipilot.io. Um, either, either place gets to the same, same people that, that can help. Very good. Mark, thanks for joining us today. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you for having me. You bet. And thank you, viewers, for watching JSA TV. And on all, on all of you folks that are headed to ITW, be safe and above all, happy networking. Thank <laughs> you.